Hello, welcome back to my channel. So guys, we are still living in pandemic time and I have already made a video about how Russia fight with coronavirus. This video uh, will be next about the situation in this time, what's going on around us uh, now. Do you remember that I said there is no epidemic in Russia? There is only several confirmed cases of coronavirus in Russia. The situation has changed and now we have more than 11,000 of infected. It is a fresh statistics for today, 10 of April. So we are catching up swiftly Euro country. We can reach uh, the critical numbers, it is uh, possible. And how this number spread in Russia? The most number in Moscow, uh, the next Moscow region, and uh, third place, uh, it is uh, my city, uh, St. Petersburg. In other regions, uh, there is not so bad situation. It is only several cases. Yesterday I filmed a video, uh, together video with um, Chantal. She's a Canadian blogger. She make a YouTube channel Growing Up Without Border. And I reported for her uh, Russian statistics. It was uh, 7,000. And you know, I really surprised that today, one day later, the number literally grew by 4,000 just for one day. And by the way, you can watch this video on Chantal channel. Uh, I put the link uh, under this video. It is really sad that many Russians didn't figure out and don't figure out still how the situation can be changed for this short time. And I will tell you how the situation was going uh, with coronavirus in Russia. You know, everything was gonna be quite okay till middle of March. We had only several cases uh, of infected, but after middle of the March, the number of infected begin to increase very quickly. Day by day, plus 1,000, plus 1,000 and a half. Well, I think it is my opinion that it happened because we didn't underestimate the series of situation. Many Russians like to uh, take a um, little vacation uh, in period uh, end of February and be beginning of March. It is because uh, we have a um, two day off in uh, this uh, period of time. And uh, many Russians typically like to go abroad. Uh, they go abroad to Asia, which is a popular direction in this season. And despite of war situation, many Russians didn't hand over the tickets and go to abroad and they came back and of course brought coronavirus and of course now we are locked down and we were announced about lockdown from 28 of march uh, till 30 of april for all people it is a recommendation but for people who older uh, 65 they must be strictly at home so everything is closed government institution parks restaurants of course uh, some uh, fitness clubs people are working at home children are study at home and um, it is a really um, hard period of time for parents because uh, they need to organize uh, study for their children. Also, parents need to work at home, so it is uh, quite uh, quite tough time. But we have possibility to go to supermarket, to pharmacy, and um, to throw out trash. But the point is that stay at home in Russia. It is a recommendation, and not everyone strict these rules. Still, many people don't care about it and go to playground despite that it are fenced. Or, for example, uh, go to countryside for making a barbecue. Despite that uh, also the forest, go to forest, it is prohibited. Uh, in this period of time. It is a lockdown, it is um, a recommendation, but 
for people who have been contacted with uh, um, infected people, they must be strictly isolated. But how is going on in your country? How people relate it to quarantine, to lockdown time in your country? Stick the rules or doesn't care. And also, as I said in previous video, in Russia there are fines for violation of quarantine, which entail the threat of the spread of disease. It is still $500 or uh, 40,000 of rubles. If the violation resulted in personal injury or death, but it doesn't contain sign of the criminal offense, there is a fine $4,000 or 300,000 of rubles. And how much fine in your country? Also interesting about masks. In this time we can't find uh, masks and uh, antiseptic in our store and pharmacy. It is not possible. Do people wear masks in your country? In Russia people wear masks, but not everybody but, and I think uh, it is because uh, uh, there is no masks in a pharmacy and uh, in the store. I am asking you because uh, it is interesting how in your country, because uh, it is not so obvious if masks help us to protect. And uh, in Russia people believe that masks uh, help. And maybe because of this belief uh, and uh, because uh, the, there is no masks, uh, people uh, sell uh, masks. And uh, I know a lot of uh, Russian who uh, sells uh, masks and just give it for everybody for free. Many Russian people help each other. I know uh, that uh, somebody uh, buy product for not only for uh, themselves but for neighbors, for old people, and it is also inspire me. I put up a notice in my apartment building that I can help for old people to buy a product for them and I got a feedback guys I've just got a request from my neighbor and it means that my notice uh, indeed worked there are some people some old people in my apartment building who really need uh, help in this time old lady asked me to buy a products for her and uh, she gave me the list there is a number of her flat and also she wrote that she's uh, 75 years old and she tried uh, to go outside and she really need to products and uh, help and also she uh, wrote me uh, the list of products it is a bread milk butter chicken and uh, sugar and there is all what uh, she needs now so guys it was about the situation with coronavirus in russia nowadays how it is going on in your country i know that uh, many from europe and uh, uh, from uh, usa are watching me so how are you guys and also i want to say for um people who live in country where there is no so bad situation just look at our example uh, you see how the situation can be changed in previous months there is no epidemic in russia but now we have uh, more than 11,000 of infected just stay at home and be careful and take care of yourself and your family and your friends thank you for watching